Hey everyone, my name is Puri Roda and I welcome you all to this channel. Today we are looking at the problem isomorphic strings. This is an easy level problem on lead code. Now let's look at the problem. Given two strings S and T, determine if they are isomorphic. Now what is isomorphic? Two strings S and T are isomorphic if the characters in S can be replaced to get T. That is, let's suppose we have this egg. Now we can replace E with A and G can be replaced with D. Thus we can convert this egg to add. Now there are some conditions like all occurrences of a character must be replaced with another character while preser preserving the order of characters. That means we can't change the order of the occurrence. Also no two characters may map to the same characters. Now I can't map E and G to the same character. Also but a character may map to itself. That means let's suppose if I had uh, E instead of A over here, then I could map this E to the E over here. Now uh, let's look at another example so that you can have a clarity what this problem is. Now let's take at this uh, look at this example foo to bar. Now I can map this F to B. Possible. Now I can map this O to A. It's also possible. Now if I go and map this O to this R, it is not possible because I have already mapped this O to this A. So this is false. Now let's look at the last uh, example, paper. P can be mapped to T, right? A can be mapped to I, no issues up till here. Now this P is already mapped to T, but here it is also T, so again no issues. Now E is not mapped to anything and here it's L and L is not mapped to anyone so it's also good. R, R is not mapped to anything and E is not mapped to anything so we can map this so it is possible. So here uh, you can see that our approach will be to map a certain character of string S to a certain character of string T. Also we need to check if that character of a certain uh, if that character in s or in uh, t is already mapped or not if it's mapped is it mapped to the character corresponding to the position in t or uh, not if it's not then we will return false because if it's not the case that it's not mapped to uh, this certain character like in this case of foo if let's suppose o is mapped to a but in this position it's going to be mapped to r and so that is not possible so we'll return false if our whole loop ends and we don't find any anomalies like this we will simply return true now let's look at the code so that I'll explain you uh, the approach in details afterward writing the code so that you can have a better idea. Now let's create a care array. Okay, I forgot to tell you about the constraints. Now, now constraints are S and T consist of any valid SKI characters. Now SKI characters define all the characters that we simply use and there are 256 characters from 0 to 256. So that means uh, we'll need to create an array of size 257. Also uh, these characters can be anything like it's not necessary that they need to be English characters. They can be symbols or anything. Okay. So I am creating this array of size 257 so that I can map that uh, map that specific character of string S uh, string S to a certain character of string T based on its SKI value. Now every SKI character will have a SKI code that is from in the range of the values that is 0 to 256. So I'll map it to that certain position, certain index. Okay. Now also I'll create a boolean so that I know if that certain character has been already mapped or not. Okay, now uh, as I'm dealing with characters, I'll convert the string S and T onto character L so that it could be easier for me to deal with them. Okay, S dot 2. Okay. 
ओके नाउ वी विल आइट्रेट थ्रू ईच करेक्टर ओके सो इफ आर करेक्टर एट द फर्स्ट इंडेक्स ऑफ टी दिस टी टी आर ए is mapped not mapped to any certain character that is the value is present uh, the value in this uh, char alpha is null that is zero then it's okay and also we'll check if its uh, boolean is also false that means it's not mapped yet then we'll map it if it's uh, present somewhere if the value is not zero then what we will do we'll check what is the value of the certain character what is it mapped to in this alpha alpha uh, array if it's mapped to the character that we are pointing in the string t then it's okay if not then we will return false now you will have a better understanding once you look at the code so up till here what i have done is i am checking if the first element if the ith character of t string uh, and i am checking its value its mapping in the alpha array if that is mapped to zero and uh, i'll check if the character of the s string is not mapped to any uh, specific character that means we are uh, we are encountering this for the first time so i'll just simply map it and also i'll set it as true in the boolean array that means it's mapped now there can be other cases like it's not mapped to zero or it's for, uh, true so let's see else if alpha tt hi now suppose it's already mapped to something is not equal to now let's suppose it's mapped to something but it's not the character that we have at string s then it means it will be false okay now uh, if with the case is like it's true this statement will not run and will go into this else if it will check if this mapping is to the right uh, mapping or not so hence uh, our code main logic is this now we'll just simply go out of the loop and if there is no anomaly in our code it worked fine then we'll simply return true now let's test this code some syntax error okay now let's submit this code so this was a very simple question very simple approach to do this if you have any doubt you can drop that doubts in comment section i'll be happy to help you